the heartbeat of competition, the drama of the moment. This is NASCAR on Nick Blam Racing. With the excitement of Speed Weeks out of the way, it's time for the real season to begin and a whole new level of excitement to take charge. And it all starts here at the North Carolina Speedway located in Rockingham, North Carolina for today's running of the Subway 400. Welcome back, race fans, to the NASCAR Thunder 2003 Career Mode Let's Play on McGlam Racing. I'm your commentator and driver of the number 83 Napa Auto Parts Racing Machine for Team Chaos Racing, Mikey McGlam. And it may only be February, but things are about to heat up quickly. We're talking engines, tires, and of course, tempers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Rock. And there you have it guys, there is the starting lineup for the field as given by MRN, the voice of NASCAR, Joe Moore and Barney Hall. Race 2 of 36 is about to commence here at the rough and tough tire eating track known as North Carolina Speedway, aka The Rock. So let's go ahead 
and get this race underway as we come off turn four to face the start finish line. Green flags in the air. We're racing at the rock. Let's bring the noise. Lap one of the races complete, already kind of showing our rust out here, but we also have an extremely tight race car as we get up into Mark Martin off turn number two that time. He's going to have the run on the outside as we got a little bit loose down the back straightaway coming off of two. Mark Martin's going to lead lap number two. Got Rusty Wallace and Jimmy Spencer breathing down our back here. I said there's a lot of rust, a lot of cobwebs. Ooh, man, Mark, uh, Rusty Wallace really poking his nose in there. Putting a lot of pressure on us. Jimmy Spencer just kind of laying in wait there, trying to see where he can make his move. Rusty might be faster than us, but we're having, we're, we're battling a tight, 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 tight car right now. I'm going to say a tight truck. Doing too much truck racing, but yeah, we're battling a tight truck right now. It looks like we're going to have to let Rusty Wallace go here shortly because I don't think we can hold the bottom. Yeah, we can't hold the bottom. Not on the not on new tires. I think once the uh, tires start to wear, it starts to get a little bit better for us. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Had to really back out of it there so I didn't run over Rusty Wallace. A little loose off the turns there. This isn't our best car. I, was, I would still think it would be performing better than it is, but this is not our best car. As I, like I said, we have, uh, we have a plan going forward. Oh, boy. Slid up into Rusty Wallace a little bit there, really throwing it into the turn. We can get into turn deeper, but we just can't hold the line down on the bottom. If we can grip it on the bottom, see, we have this loose in, tight center, and then it'll just be loose off. But the front four is starting to pull away. Mark Martin is starting to pull away. He's starting to go into his own zip code there. We bottomed out. That's going to shove us up the racetrack. I'm sorry about that, Rusty. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So the rust is showing, and Rusty is unfortunately paying for it here. Yeah, we have a lot of cobwebs we have to shake off here. So I'm not... I'm not really per expecting our best performance, as you probably saw during the Budweiser shootout, Daytona 500. We got a lot of rust, man. A lot of cobwebs we got to shake off. We got to get back into a, a mode here. We have not really dug into this uh, career mode in literally over two years. So, We're having a heck of a battle for a second. This looks like where the battle is going to be. Up here in the top three. Is that Dale Earnhardt Jr.? Jr. started 15th. All right. See if I can close the door on Jimmy Spencer here. Not quite. I uh, shoved up the racetrack. He's going to have the run on the inside. Oh, oh, he slid up. I'm not taking full blame for that. He slid up into me, which is fine. It's fine. It's... <laughs> the tires at this track... Yeah, they're, they're pretty much going to be non-existent after like, you know, a few laps or so. Oh, boy. But yeah, lots of rust. New controller. It's going to take a while for the talent to really come back to where it was last year. Once it's there, we're going to have to watch out. But we got a pretty fast car here. We got a pretty fast car. I just don't think it's a race winning car. Not unless we start to get into some lap traffic here. I'm kind of keeping an eye on the tires. And we got some damage on the left side. In contact with Rusty. 23.9 is our fastest lap. I think we ran a much faster lap than that in uh, qualifying. Yeah, it looks like we're just kind of settled in here, settling into third. Yeah, tires are really starting to wear now. 
And that, like I said, that's par for the course here at, at, at the Rock. You, you can't... They're, they're not going to... Your tires aren't going to go very far, especially if you're driving it as hard as I am. I'm driving it just about as hard as I can just to try to stay with these guys. But, like I said, a lot of this is just going to come down to talent. You know, me getting back into the groove of things. Although, like I I am... I am... I'm in that boat of, like, I should be a little bit faster here, but... We'll have to see what what it what 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 happens at the end of the race. Mark Martin right now is putting on a clinic, man. Looks like Jimmy Spencer is falling back to possibly might be falling back to sixth. Yes, ah, we bottomed out. Not good. Not good. Is that gonna let Junior get by us? Not quite, but he did catch up to us quite a bit there. But yeah, his uh, his teammate uh, Sterling Marlin got to his outside. It looks like they're battling back there. Oh, and he's Spencer's not giving it up easy. Spencer's not giving it up easy, although advantage to Sterling Marlin currently. We're gonna do what we can with Dale Earnhardt Jr., but it looks like he's got a really fast car. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s last year's champion. If only, right? <laughs> if only Junior would have won himself a championship, but sometimes it's just not in the cards, man. We got Mark Martin up here just, I say, he's just putting on a clinic right now. Mm. We all hopped in, in there a little bit. Don't want to be doing that, but yeah, the car handling is not great. It's not great, which is weird because I'm running the same setup I ran in the fall. So... These guys are pitting quite a few laps early. I am not going to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. It's going to leave Rusty Wallace to lead himself a couple of laps here. I don't think we can catch him. But, yeah, he's, they're pitting quite a bit early. I'm not really prepared to do that, at least not here at Rockingham. You know, if this were maybe Atlanta or some other racetrack, maybe... I'll, I'll, you know, take a, take a pit a couple laps early. Actually, I think we're getting to that point now, man. <laughs> we're getting to that point now. But no, if this was any other track, I'd probably do it. But um, tire wear is so, so big here. I, I don't need to be, I really don't need to be chancing it and trying to stay out on older tires towards the end of the race. And we bottomed out again. Golly. Yeah, when we bottom out, we can't we can't do anything about that. When we bottom out, it's just like it's it's going straight. So we're gonna go ahead and come down. Well, I slowed down a ton, and I still couldn't keep it down there on the apron. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and come down pit road, four tires and fuel. We're gonna go ahead and go one more half round of wedge out of it, and. Uh, no real significant damage there. So we can see we're gonna go to shake out. I think that was about a 15 point something pit stop. I imagine these guys aren't gonna to be too quick to start off. They usually never are. Um, when we come out to, yeah, see they're a little bit sluggish right now. But that's okay, that's okay. Like I said, it takes time for these guys. It take, it's just taking time for everyone to get back into the swing of things. So, not the fastest pit stop. We definitely didn't hit our goal time. Let's see how many positions we lost. There goes Dale Earnhardt Jr. Now what we're going to have to deal with now is a loose race car. On the start here, this is Bobby Labonte. I believe he's going to be for a position. Not everyone has hit it yet. I think we're coming back on the lead lap right now. Alright. So now we got a loose race car that we're going to have to contend with here. And yeah, now see we're really, really loose off, and that's gonna hurt our quarter our quarter exit acceleration quite a bit. But I'm hoping in the long run it'll start to come to us, and then we can have that acceleration off, and it won't be too bad. And I kind of threw it in there just to kind of get back around them. All right, so we have we are fourth right now. We have lost two spots on pit road 
I mean, that just shows you. I mean, I had a pretty bad entry, too, so, I mean, I'm not really putting it all on the pit crew there. Oh, boy, come on. <sighs> it's just that loose exit, man. <laughs> that loose exit's going to be a handful to deal with right now. Boy. Bobby Labonte all the way on the apron trying to get around us. And still maintaining speed. I wish I could do that. And is this Ricky Rudd? That is Ricky Rudd. Ricky Rudd. Now, if you remember last last season, yeah, he's going to get a run here because I got loose. So Ricky Rudd and I had a heck of a battle towards the... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, new controller. Who this? <laughs> um... Ricky Rudd and I had a heck of a battle last season in the fall in this at this track. And I had a really, really dominant turn three and four. And my three and four is not terrible here. It's just it's just it's still kind of tight in the center. But my three and four is not terrible, but one and two is usually where they can get me. He charged around me on turns one and two. I threw it into turn three and had the acceleration to come off the turn and beat him to the line. Just barely, though. We were side by side. There goes Dale Jarrett taking over the top five. He's going to run the high line there. Uh, we slid up the racetrack just a little bit. I need to run just about a half a lane up. I can't really keep it down on that bottom too well. If I could run just about a half a lane up, I think I would be better. Like, yeah, right about there, but... Like with most NASCAR games, you leave a half a lane up, they're going to go ahead. Oh, Bobby Labonte, trouble. He's like he lost it coming off of turn number two. He's going to fall way back. That's going to leave the five of us to, to race it out here. Or six of us, rather, to race it out here. But, man, Mark Martin is just in, a, in another zip code, man. He's always been good at this track in this game. He's always been good at this track, so it's it's really no surprise to kind of see him out there. I would imagine that Rusty Wallace is up there with him. When it comes to the shorter tracks, you're definitely going to see Rusty Wallace up there. Probably didn't see Kyle Petty right up here, to be honest. But you're definitely going to see Rusty Wallace up there. Mark Martin at Rockingham is pretty much a guaranteed you know, thing that you're going to be battling him up here. Dale Jarrett is just good everywhere. He's Mr. OP. Uh, still tight. Still tight. Yeah, we can't, we just can't. Oh, whoa, okay. And we're much looser off. So it's like the adjustments didn't really help all that much. But yeah, we can't, we don't seem to be able to drive it like we could in the fall. Now, the thing is, I, what I'm not sure of is we bottom out there. The thing what I'm not sure of is if we, if there is an actual difference. Don't wreck this, please. Don't wreck. <laughs> uh, what I'm not sure of is there, is there an actual difference from, uh, from, you know, winter to fall. That would be really cool if, because I do notice, like, at some tracks, I'm just better in the fall than I am in the in the in a winter or the spring and some tracks are better in the spring than I am in the uh, yeah it's just on repeat tracks it's I've noticed that and that's not just here in career mode obviously you're getting better as you're going progressing through career mode but that's also through Ooh, you slowed up way more than I thought you would I'm so sorry Ricky I'm sorry Ricky my bad my bad yeah, he slowed up way more than I thought he would, but I, man, I caught him. So this is the, okay, the tire wear is starting to affect these guys as well, so that's good. And here we have Tony, oh my gosh, Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart, okay, I need to get around you. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Ricky, I'm going to have to start using you up, man. <laughs> We're going to have to race for this top five because uh, if Tony Stewart catches me, he's passing me. Tony Stewart started like 38th, and he's running up here in a top 10 already. 
My gosh. At least I, at least from what I remember, you start at like 28th. Or 38th, excuse me. The 28th right behind me. Come on, don't lose it. Don't lose it. I'm fighting this race car off that turn, man. Fighting it hard. Okay. Oh, dang it. I swashed up. All right, let him go. Oop, oop, oop. Little loose off. Sorry about that, Ricky. We're going to try you again here in turn one. We're going to have a heck of a battle here. Oh, contact. Big contact. All right, all right. Slide it up. Slide it up. Don't wreck it. Come on. Come on. So is this just gonna be what is this what it's gonna be what it is? <laughs> is this gonna be the battle between is this track gonna be forever be the battle between myself and Ricky Rudd? I don't have a problem with that, but this is what it looks like here. <laughs> We're forever gonna have a battle. God, don't wreck it. Oh, you screwed up, Ricky. You screwed up. You should have stayed on the outside. You might have had more of an advantage there. White flag in the air, one to go for Mark Martin. Can he hang on? Ooh, we caught Dale Jarrett really fast there. Got into Ron Hornaday. Mark Martin into turns three and four for the final time. We've got nothing for Dale Jarrett. We washed up the racetrack. Mark Martin wins the Subway 400 here at North Carolina Speedway. And we're going to come home with a top five finish. Hard fought as heck. Dale Hart Jr. was second, Rusty Wilson third, fourth Dale Jarrett. Looks like we run out top five. Not a single caution lap was run in the whole race. Whoa, that doesn't happen very often. It makes you pay a whole lot more for any mistakes. You don't have the cushion of yellow flags to get caught up. The Napa car gets a strong top five finish. Oh, I'm sure he's happy with that finish. If you can't get the win, a top five will still keep you pretty happy. Thanks for joining us. For Barney Hall and the rest of us here at EA Sports at MRN, we'll see you next time. All right, guys, so here are the race results for the Subway 400 here at North Carolina Speedway, a.k.a. The Rock. Mark Martin is your race winner, followed by Dale Earnhardt Jr., who started all the way from 15th place. Crazy. Uh, he was on a move. Rusty Wallace, is, Rusty Wallace finishes third, Dale Jarrett's in fourth, and we round out the top five. Sixth is Ricky Rudd, seventh is Tony Stewart, who came from 38th place as well as Bobby Labonte, who came from 35th. Golly, these guys are on a move. Ninth is Ryan Newman, and rounding out the top 10 is Sterling Marlin. All right, and here is the rest of the field. You could pick out your favorite driver, be that old or new. Winner's purse of $157,000. No cautions, two lead changes. Uh, time of race, 1623. Average speed of about 145 miles per hour. And the margin of victory, 4.7 seconds. This, Mark Martin had checked out. I, I kind of knew from the start I wasn't going to have anything for him when I just could not catch him. Mark Martin had checked out. Anyway, uh, looks like, I believe that's, but, that, like, no, no memes, but I believe that his name is Bernie Sanders. No memes or anything like that, but, you know, but memes. But <laughs> uh, he finishes in last place with a blown engine on lap eight. That was the car that was going down pit road that I didn't know. I didn't recognize the paint scheme, so that explains why. Uh, everyone else pretty much finished on the lead lap? Yeah, no. Uh, okay, so we had... 32 cars finish on the lead lap, Kyle Petty being the last of them. Jimmy McMurray, first car, one lap down. And here are the point standings after Rockingham. Mark Martin has taken over the points lead. We have fallen back to second in points, but only five points behind the leader so far. Dale Jarrett has moved up to third, 15 points behind behind uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., last season's Last season's champion is 48 behinds in fourth. And uh, out, rounding out the top five is Bobby Labonte, 57 points back. We also have Sterling Marlin, 61 points back. Tony Stewart, who's on a tear today, uh, 69 points back. Nice. Rusty Wallace is also 69 points back. Nice. Uh, Jonathan Wolf is in ninth, 78 points back. He didn't really have the... The charge to the field like I expected him to have. And rounding out the top 10, 79 points back is former Richard Children's teammate uh, Kevin Harvick. Let's go ahead and check out the awards for the week. 
Uh, we have the pole award, no surprise there. Um, Mark Martin was the front runner. He was the dominant car. He was the car to beat here. He was the car to beat here. And that's no surprise given that he's usually really, really good at the rock. Uh, all charged up definitely goes to Tony Stewart. Was there ever a doubt? This dude literally almost had a last to first challenge. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. locked the fastest lap of the race. That's no surprise either. I mean, he came up through the field very, 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 very quickly. Uh, Ricky Edwards in uh, was the rookie of the race, and Jimmy Spencer with the move, most exciting pass of the race. Um, rookie of the year, so Ricky Wallach in first so far, followed by Rick Edwards, Mike Misiak. Uh, I don't remember your first name or your first name. We got some rookies up here. Donnie Wolf did not participate in this race, I noticed, so he gets no points on the year. So not a good look for Donnie Wolf because he missed the Daytona 500 by not qualifying and uh, for getting, you know, getting eliminated in the duels and he did not race in this one. So maybe Donnie Wolf's only part time. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe he just didn't qualify. Maybe that's what the deal is. I am not 100% sure. Two polls on the season. Jackpot 5 hasn't happened yet, but it will happen at Vegas. Um, we are one of the Jackpot 5 million there, but, I mean, it's it's Vegas, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, manufacturer's, champion, uh, manufacturer's Championship. Yes, I said, I said it correctly. Uh, Chevy in, is tied with Ford for 15 points. Well, makes sense. We were the first. Uh, we won the first race. A Ford run the se won the second race. So, let's we'll see who wins that third race. Though, I mean, I don't know about those Robert Yates Fords, man. Um, lap champion currently being held by Mark Martin, who led 33 laps today. Uh, we still have 17 laps. I believe that was possibly 16 last week, and now probably just one this week. Did we lead a lap? I'm trying to remember if we did or not. Actually, don't remember. <laughs> I honestly don't remember. But followed by Rusty Wallace, who led a lap today. Uh, Kevin Harvick, Dale Jarrett. Like, these guys all led laps pretty much today. And that's going to be it for Rockingham. Fun, but... Uh, the the fact yeah we were in that um, when we were in that other car actually while I'm speaking here I'll go ahead and do what I need to do but um, while we were in that other car it really showed the power difference really showed from last season in the fall to this season now where I was just like well I just needed to use this car and it was a throwaway car I'm like I'm not I'm not even like trying to act like it's not but yeah this rocket is. It's kind of a throwaway car at this point, and it just didn't have the power to, to, to get by. So um, we're going to go ahead and jump in and throw Amy in there because it was at a power of 79. Uh, sorry, a power of, yeah, power of 81. So it was not our best. The last time we were at the Rock, we were at a power of 83. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. We need, we're going to need that for Vegas because we need all the speed we can get at Las Vegas because Vegas is a thing. Vegas is de most definitely a thing, and we were just getting outpowered. The cars were just like, you know, they were much faster than us. The car was really, really tight. It, like, even in the early goings, it was really, really tight. And I did loosen it up, but it only served to, like, get me loose coming off of the, off the turn. You see, I was having to uh, catch the car quite a bit. It only really served to get me loose. You know, from the exit corner exit, and that's not what I wanted. That that did not really help my <laughs> uh, did not really help. It, it it actually hindered me more than it helped me, and I wound up having to drive a lot more aggressively than I wanted to drive, um, just to make sure I got a top five at least. You know, so um, but all in all, hey, look, solid weekend, solid weekend. Got a pole, finished top five. You know, you know, we would have at least had a top 10, you know, to, to, to contend with. And I was actually content on going, like, finishing in top 10. I was like, uh, you know, Ricky Rudd and, and Dale Jarrett, they're faster than me. There's no doubt about it. They are faster than me. But once their tires started to fall off, I kind of saw a chance and had to just kind of go for it. Like I said, I'm going for... I'm, I'm going for a championship this year. Like, the, this is the year. Like, last year, I wasn't sure I was going to do it. And then I had that amazing comeback. 
didn't didn't get it but now i'm like more more inclined to like push it a little bit harder you know push the um to uh you know push some envelopes you know force some issues out there because i'm 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 hungry i'm hungry this is my last and final season i will not be doing a 2007 season you know i'm like once i'm done with this i'm done so i want to go out on top so so i'm gonna put i'm gonna you know if i if i see an opportunity i'm gonna have to take it you know regardless of which so no it's not always ideal don't like driving that way all the time but you know i gotta do what i gotta do and every race matters from race number one to race number 36 every race matters and i need to make sure that i'm finishing well in every race so which is why i saved my super good car for las vegas because i'm going to need all the help i can get but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the race. Not a lot, not a, not not as eventful as definitely not as eventful as, as the fall race because there was a lot of shuffling, a lot of lap traffic. There wasn't a lot of lap traffic here. A lot of people seemed to be on the pace up until like you know at least up until pit stops. Like you know we were catching lap traffic. I believe we were catching lap traffic early on last year. So a lot of people seemed to be on the pace. A lot of rookies starting up front. A lot of new blood starting up front. They didn't finish up there. <laughs> you know, the vets definitely came out and showed you know why they're the veterans, but you know why they're the best. But yeah, yeah, um, it, not as eventful. But I hope you enjoyed the race, regardless. Of which I enjoyed it. I always enjoyed going to the Rock, one of my favorite race tracks. Uh, definitely always a challenge. And definitely always fun. So. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, drop a like on the video. We really appreciate it. If you enjoy these races, I do them every weekend following the NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series, if that's what it's still called. I know I keep saying that in almost every video, but I'm recording these like well before the, the actual Cup Series starts, and I don't remember if it's actually still being sponsored by Monster Energy or not. Um, <laughs> and unfortunately, I won't see your comments until like the season starts or like when these start getting uploaded, but I will know. And you can roast me every time for not knowing that it's is or is it sponsored by Monster Energy Cup. So be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. And like I said, guys, so thank you so much for watching. And I will see you at Vegas 